Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just wanted to show off one of our new products today. Um, you know those iPod chargers, those little, you, you, you basically put your iPod down on the pad, the charger pad, and it charges? Well, this is how it works essentially. You've got a, tr a transmitter and you've got a receiver. In the case of your iPod, there's a, something similar inside the iPod. Uh, what happens is, this little module here, when powered at 12 volts, will uh, create an uh, will oscillate a frequency through this uh, coil, the, uh, the resonant frequency through this coil, and what it'll do is it will transmit somewhat like a transformer, how a transformer works. It's isolated by air, and when uh, when the receiver coil comes in contact between one millimeter and eighteen millimeters, the closer the more power transmittance there is. So it's wired. You could basically put a sheet of plastic in between, a very thin piece of plastic in between. You still see power at the other end. Now on the receiver end, there's uh, it's the output is rectified and turned into uh, and regulated down to five volts at uh, at one millimeter distance between the transmitter and the receiver directly on you can uh, transmit about 300 milliamps 300 to 350 it's rated for 400 but I've only been able to get about 300 out of it and uh, yeah so even at about 18 centimeters you can still get about 10 milliamps out of it so you can this would be great for magic tricks uh, I plan on making some fun projects with this myself I just received some and I'll be receiving some more uh, models in later on and I'll even be uh, making my own down the road because I've purchased some of the components that's, that will be necessary to create my own and sell perhaps as a DIY kit. So let me give you a demonstration. I've actually got two other videos that give a full demonstration. Uh, actually in one of my videos I use uh, 12 volts on the um, transmitter and I take the 5 volts out from the receiver and I uh, boost it up to 12 volts through one of my uh, 5 volts to 12 volt booster kits and I uh, light up one of my 24 LED banks which is very bright all of which is sold in my in my store uh, so uh, let's uh, let's power this up and have a look so the transmitter takes roughly 50 milliamps when the receiver is unloaded um, because I'm not actually putting a load on the receiver um, it's the, not going to draw much current uh, it will the, trans the, the, the power transfer will be much higher if you actually load this with, say, an LED bank or a supercapacitor. I've actually charged some supercapacitors with this. So you're just going to see the voltage at this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it. Right now it's about 3 centimeters away. Now, at 3 centimeters, you're not going to get much current across that. It won't ch the, the voltage won't change if I bring it really close. Uh, I lose transfer at about four centimeters. Um, now, I could I could load a uh, likely power one of these motors with it. Actually, you know what? Let's give it a try. Let's try powering up one of these motors uh, with the wireless transmitter, just to give you a good uh, a good show. Just so we can see the motor head a little bit better, I'm going to make a mark. There we go. And now, let's. Uh, Let's bring the receiver closer and see what we can get. There we go. The motor runs at about two centimeters, and the closer I bring it, the stronger it it, uh, it gets. And this isn't even drawing. This isn't even drawing a ton of current. This is a, a low. I, I guess I, I underestimated how much uh, how much power this motor needs. It's a low power motor because even at one centimeter or one millimeter, I'm only drawing about 30 more milliamps of power whereas I can I can uh, I can source up to about 300 350 milliamps depending on how close I am and, but anyway just a short demonstration uh, you can see this for yourself you can you'll be able to purchase this uh, at uh, electroniclessons.com which will take you to our eBay store I plan on uh, putting all of my new stuff up on the website engineeringshock.com in just a few days so I uh, just wanted to, to give you a quick demonstration and uh, say Thank you very much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. Have a great day.